Community advocates came together today fighting for more oversight for your money spent on health care. A city watchdog says there are no records indicating $105 million Central Health gave to UT Medical School is actually going to improve health care for the poor. KXN's Kylie McGivern joins us live from the med school campus. Kylie, what is this group calling for? Well, Shannon, these advocates want Travis County commissioners to call for an independent audit of both Central Health and UT's medical school to learn where the money's going. Now, keep in mind, back in 2012, voters decided to increase property taxes to fund the medical school. And here's what that ballot language indicated. Funds will be used for improved health care, including support for a new medical school consistent with the mission of Central Health. It also said that support could include education and specialty medicine, as well as to obtain federal matching funds. Today's gathering was to address the core mission of Central Health, which is helping indigent people receive health care. Attorney Fred Lewis, who's been working to determine how the money is being spent, says if Travis County commissioners don't call for an audit, he hasn't taken a lawsuit off the table. We spoke with a man who says he and his father use Central Health Services. My biggest fear is that people will lose their lives because we're not talking about colds, we're not talking about flus, we're talking about serious, serious issues that I wouldn't even want to think of naming. I wouldn't even want to think of the people having to go through this, the families that are going through this, the heartbreak that will come through it. And we do want to say we just received a response from Dell Medical School clarifying a few points from the news conference that was given today. Now, Dean Johnson says the funds the school receives from Central Health are segregated from other sources and tracked. He says most of the money has not been spent because they're in a startup period and they have five years to use the resources to improve community health, especially among low income and uninsured residents. The school says that it expressly it is expressly permitted to use that money for operations, development and recruitment under the agreement with Central Health. Now, we have plans to speak with someone from Central Health to hear their side of the story as well. We will be speaking with the CEO and we'll pass along any information they share with us coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. Shannon and Robert, back to you.